I remember vividly. It's, it's a memory that can never be taken out of my mind. Candace Negron is now an NYPD sergeant, but on March 10, 2003, she was a 23-year-old civilian living on Staten Island. When two undercover detectives were assassinated during a gun buy, Rodney J. Andrews and James Nemeron. The shooter was Rennell Wilson. He came to the location with the firearm, uh, got in the backseat of the, uh, the vehicle that was being used and uh, shot both detectives at point blank range. I shot them behind the head, dragged them out of the car and left them on the street to die. James Nemeron was a Haitian immigrant with three children and Rodney Andrews, a former Navy SEAL with two sons, both working in the dangerous firearms investigation division. A police officer at Nemrin's funeral explained the significance. They took on great risks because the thing they did was guns. So everyone you're dealing with is armed. A day after the executions, Rennell Wilson's photo and a picture of the lead gun runner, Omar Green, were put in the morning papers. And that's where Candace Negron comes in. She was riding to work on the Staten Island Ferry on March 11th, 2003. I recall... Um high heels passing me and um, knees knocking together and the person sat across from me and I looked up and I saw the face of the face that was in the paper um, and it was a man dressed as a woman. I looked past the lipstick, the wig, the dress, I saw this man's face. The face in the paper belonged to Omar Green. Negron said she quietly left the lower level of the ferry and found a police officer on the top deck. And I told him, I said, the guy from the newspaper who assassinated the police officers, he's on the boat. And I recall him saying, are you sure? I said, either that's him or it's the ugliest woman I've ever seen. Negron recalls the cop went to the lower level and she didn't know about the arrest until later when her father, a retired detective, confirmed Green had been grabbed on the ferry. And he said, Candace, that was him. It was only last year when Hannah Street was renamed on Staten Island for Rodney Andrews and James Nemeron that she finally met the detective's families. It was a nice feeling, you know, like I didn't, I didn't know anything about her. It just goes to show that there are still good people out there willing to help. 20 years later, Candace Negron is now a patrol sergeant working with youth near the borough's schools. But she never forgets her role in the Rodney J. Andrews, James Nemeron case. Out of everything in my life, besides my the birth of my children, this was one of the things I'm most proud of. And tomorrow, the sacrifice of Detectives Rodney J. Andrews and James Nimmerin will be remembered on the 20th anniversary of their deaths with a mass at Lincoln Center. Sergeant Negron is expected to be there.